You heard it. There's a storm coming in, according to Don Slater. We don't know how that will affect Friday night flights, but we do have high school football for you tonight. How? Well, the best way to beat the bad weather on Friday, play on Thursday night. I'm Bruce Rader. Welcome to the Sports Wrap. And that is exactly what Hampton High School did. Let me take you to Darling Stadium where the Crabbers look to extend their unbeaten streak against Gloucester. Longtime Crabbers coach Mike Smith giving the officials an earful. Hey, what else is new? Well, Coach Smith is always upset with the refs. He must have been thrilled to have this guy on his team. Junior Daz Newsome, look at this guy on the punt return. This is the first time Hampton touched the ball, and Daz takes it 54 yards to the house for the Crabbers' first score of the game, but we're not finished. Glaster back on defense, and the Dukes pass thrown in the direction of Daz Newsome, and Daz does the rest. 26 yards on the pick six after he ran the punt back. Daz Newsome had, now get this, Seven touchdowns and nearly 350 all-purpose yards. Oh my, the Crabbers remain undefeated after beating Gloucester 76-7. And Norfolk, Mari hosting the Churchland Truckers. Churchland in white and the senior running back, Demille Edwards, bursts through the line, makes some moves and runs his way into the end zone. 24 yards for the touchdown. 19-0 Churchland. A little later, Edwards shows off that speed again. This time he cuts outside on his way to a 31-yard gain. The Truckers' defense came to play tonight as well as Churchland would pitch the shutout over its rivals from Maury. 19-0. That was the final from Powhatan Field. Denby with 48 points in its win over Minchville. York over Pocosin 21-7. And in Williamsburg, Smithfield gets the road win over Warhill 36-26.